I'm not going to tell you anything. That's what they all say. Right before the screaming starts. It's kind of a shame. It, it, it hurts my ears. And, and then I have to clean up this whole place with bleach. But I guess everyone has to feel like they're the hero. You don't scare me. They always say that too. But make no mistake, I'm not trying to scare you. Doesn't matter to me what you think or feel. My job is to simply inflict the right amount of pain so I can extract the information I need from you. Anything else? It's just fun. You're a monster! I suppose I am. An efficient one. I usually get results. That makes me good at my job, and that means something these days. You don't have to do this. Ah, uh, you have now learned the four basic movie cliches for this type of situation. I'm not going to tell you anything. You don't scare me. You're a monster. You don't have to do this. I hear it all the time. <laughs> not necessarily in that order. I guess it says something about the way that cinema affects our society. We have pre-written dialogue for every occasion, including one as painful as this. Hmm. Shall we begin? Well, that's a cliché, too. What? Shall we begin? The insane villain always says that as they're picking up the sharp knife or the electrodes or the hungry rats or whatever they're using to torture the good guy. I guess you're right. I myself am turning into a cliché. But don't underestimate the severity of the situation. And unlike the movies... There's not going to be any last-minute daring rescue that ever happens. Not in real life. Oh, and one more thing. What's that? Which of us is the villain and which is the good guy depends entirely on the information you're about to give me. Now, may we begin? <laughs>